Yeah, definitely. So some special guests. It's been more than 30 years since Punch and John rode off into the sunset on the hit show Chips. Eric Estrada and Larry Wilcox are still fan favorites for their roles as California Highway Patrol partners Frank Punch Poncharello and John Baker. They are now in Nashville this weekend for our Comic Con. But before they make their way over to the Music City Center, they are here in our studio right now. Hey. Eric and Larry are both here to talk about their iconic roles. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Both. Thanks Great for having us here. here. Yes. You've been to town before. Oh, this yeah. is your first time in first Nashville. Time, yeah. What do you think so far? I'm, I haven't been exposed to too much, but I'm happy that you uh, elected Megan Barry as your new mayor. Congratulations. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. First woman mayor in That's Nashville's right. history and everything. So you've been here before. Yes. And, uh, love coming back. Yes, yes. Last time I was here before you had the big, before Oprah, Oprah, Oprah Land Hotel uh -huh. Oprah, uh -huh. got rained out. Yeah. I was here with the Louise Mandrell celebrity shoot. Okay. Uh, it was a great, great weekend. And. They're good people, the Mandrells. All right, you all talk, uh, uh, was on, well, the, on the show, what it ran for about six years. Right. At that time, the most popular crime fighting duo on television. Yeah. After all of this time, are you still amazed <laughs> with the reaction that you get from, uh, from your time on the show? Yeah, we love it. I uh -huh. mean, we, we really appreciate it. I love it and appreciate it, but I'm reminded sometimes I, my head's in the clouds and somebody will say, hey, aren't you? And I go, Oh my God, yeah. And then they start talking about it and mm -hmm. how they watched it with the kid. Their kids are watching it now because it's in, in syndication now. And, but it was a great time. We had a really good time doing it. Uh huh. What about you? No, Still. I enjoy it. I'm always grateful. You know, you're happy when a policeman comes up to you and says that the reason he became a policeman was because of chips. And uh, so, you know, both veterans and policemen, we always feel like we have a good rapport with. And, Actually, uh, not only did Chips run six years, but it was syndicated in a hundred foreign countries, and then Turner picked it up, TNT, and ran it for about 30 years on television. So we got a, a lot of branding and exposure. Did either of you, were either of you motorcycle riders before this? Larry. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I rode the subway. I'm from. I grew up in Spanish Harlem. We had the subway and the bus. <laughs> so, so how much training before the show started did you have to go through? A lot. Uh, <laughs> a lot. They used to wind me up and I go, boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still have any scars or bruises from that time? Uh, well, yeah, we got this puppy here. And then one time uh, I ended up in intensive care with punctured lungs and everything else. Wow. Yeah. All right. So... Uh, that's been several years ago, yes. but you're still being able to go out and meet folks. Yes. Before we talk about why you're here in town, what are you up to now these days? Well, uh, today I'm a beautiful wife, beautiful daughter. I'm a reserve uh, deputy sheriff in the state of Virginia, uh -huh. Bedford, Bedford County Sheriff's Department, and I'm a task force uh, captain in the uh, ICAC task force. ICAC means Internet Crimes Against Children. Okay. And so we do a lot of that. We put a lot of people that belong in cages oh. that hurt our children. Yeah, well, good, good for that. And for you, uh, you're actually on the producing end of things, right? <clears throat> well, I produced a television series for five years for uh -huh. HBO called the Ray Bradbury Theater that won a lot of awards. And But really, I'm, we do mostly technology. We go into cities that are <coughs> have a problem with budget, mm -hmm. uh, don't have ability to hire people locally, and so we fund 50 to $150 million of a complete energy retrofit of the city. So wow. we put in everything from waste to energy, inline hydro turbines, retrofit all the city buildings, and, okay. and fund that so the city doesn't have to tax the uh, wow. individual. Well, still going, doing great stuff now, but you still get a chance to meet the fans and talk yeah. about the big reason yeah. why you're here this weekend. Well, we're here for the Wizard World Comic Con here. Uh, Wizard World, uh, this is the third time they've had it in Nashville. It's our first with Wizard World to work for them, to be with them. Mm -hmm. And it's always great to come out and see the folks. And, and, and the good thing today is that a lot of the parents are, because the show's a syndication right. now, and they, they bring their children uh, to see us. <laughs> because they're watching the show too they're raising their kids on the show and it's just always good yeah. and fun to meet well we that, thank you very much for oh, stopping no. by and being with us yeah. today no, come on out and see that. them mm -hmm. uh you can meet yeah. uh, eric and larry coming up at uh, comic con yeah. through sunday at the music city center for times and ticket information go to our website at newschannel5.com that'll be great to see them there this weekend